am Manu and I'm designing for Dress My Craft today. Do subscribe to the Dress My Craft channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. I will be showing you how to create this beautiful lantern using the Christmas bell papers from Dress My Craft. This project is a hands-on project with a complete demo on how you can make the base of the lantern along with all the embellishments. I hope you liked the project and let's begin. Let's start with making the base of the album. We would be needing 4 sides and I have a 7 by 5 inch chipboard. I need 4 pieces for this chipboard and I have cut each piece into 3 quarters from each side. I would be covering it up with a cardstock. All the products used are in the description box below and I would be speeding up the process for covering up this particular Make sure that you refurbish your corners if you are using the tacky tapes and refurbish the tacky tape so that it can withstand a good amount of pressure. So my one of the pieces is ready and I have already uh, done the same step for the other three pieces. So now I have four pieces in total which would make up for four of the sides of the lantern. I also have two pieces of 6x6 cardstock. 6x6 uh, six six chipboard that I have already covered up with the cardstock. I would also be needed 4 strips of 7 into 4 inches, I'm sorry, 7 into 1 inch so that I can have a very smooth finish when I bind both the, when I attach both the two sides together. So I am now putting up tacky tape. The tacky tape is the best solution that I find if you want to connect two different elements together. Likewise, like here would be to combining two different sides of the lantern together and tacky tape is I think the best kind of medium with which you can uh, put a very good finish to your product and also it will hold the project to a very good length. So we will be attaching these four pieces of the window frames that we have onto a base that measures 6 by 6 inches. So we will be using the 7 into 1 inch of strip that we have already put the tacky tape on to combine or to attach both of the two frames together. We would make it at a perpendicular. Now always keep a little gap of about 1 to 1.5 mm between the two sides of the panel because that is where it would give in a little shape and it would give in a little um, you know a little space so that both your sides would fit in together now do uh, the same thing for all the four sides 
would again be speeding up the process with the video do have a closer look as to how did i do all the above steps the base structure is now ready now i would need a little uh, vellum sheets uh, the vellum sheets that i have used is from dress my craft and i would be making a window panel so the vellum sheet i have cut four pieces into size that measures 6.75 into 5.25 inches so that it fits in the windows of all the four panels Once the vellum sheets are done on all the window frames, we would be uh, putting up this lantern to the base. I'm using the glue gun. Be very sure to handle it very careful, as the glue gun is very hot, and I have really burnt my fingers countless number of times. We will now be we will now start embellishing the lantern, and I would need. Uh, the pattern papers to be put up on the four sides of the lantern. I'm using the Christmas bell paper pack from the from Dress My Craft, and this paper pack is truly gorgeous, and it has some very very nice Christmas elements. Uh, the base of the lantern I that I wanted was uh, very rustic, so I took a vintage script background paper, uh, and uh, I thought that the all the flowers and the embellishments would. come up very nicely on a little subtle tone of the pattern paper
So we have our base ready now. I have now taken the cast on that measures 5 by 5 inches so that I can make a little box kind of a shape and half open box kind of a shape that measures 4 by 4 inches so I have scored the 5 by 5 inches cardstock that I have at 1 inch on all the 4 sides and I will be making it in a shape of a leg I want to place it at the top of the top panel the 6 by 6 top panel that I have of, of the lamp thing so that it looks a little more nicer and it gives me a little more space to embellish my project later on Now that the base structure is made, let's start embellishing the Christmas paper out there. I have pre-cut a few images from the paper part and also the images from the motif sheet. I would be also be using a lot of foliage dyes from the Dress My Craft brand. I normally cut my motif sheet prior to using it so that no, uh, I will have all the uh, embellishments at one place and I need not take a halt between my project to decide which embellishment to use so I normally cut all the uh, know the two pages with the motive sheets and then I keep it wrapped in a paper bag
once you are happy with all the floral arrangements and part of the enrichments, we would. It is now time for a little snow effect. After all, it's Christmas, so I would be using some soft gloss gel and some processed sugar powder from this my cap. The soft gloss gel is uh, from uh, Finabare, which is now basics, and the processed sugar crystal powders will give you a very snowy effect. Uh, be using a few decor beads by Mudra. These are art ingredients and they will give a very nice uh, effect to all your projects. of uh, pattern paper uh, to cover the top of the lantern. Since the top measures 4 by 4 inches, I will be cutting it to the size 3.75 into 3.75 inches and also for the sides of the top panel of the lantern. chipset from Mudra. It is called Christmas and I am embossing it with the embossing ink. I would then emboss it into a golden color using the Ranger fine embossing powder in the color golden.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, do share a few comments on how you like the making process. Thank you for watching. Bye.